Hey guys, today I am making another succulent cake, but this time it's with a giant cactus as well. If you like seeing piping videos like this, remember to give us a thumbs up and leave some comments in the description box below of any other creations you would like to see us make on the channel. So the first thing I'm going to make is those little white spikes that come out of our large cactus. And to do that, I'm going to use some white fondant, a clay extruder. I want to use the attachment that makes lots and lots of little thin ropes all at the same time. And I'm going to use a pizza slicer to cut them to size. So I'm going to roll some of the fondant into a sausage, pop it in, place in my attachment. And this is a really quick and easy way to make lots of these at the same time. Now I'm going to make them just long enough so that they poke out of the cactus. Now while those are setting up, I want to go ahead and get started on my cake. I've baked a six inch ball pan, so I have one half here and one half here. I also have cut out a two and three quarter cake plate, just so that there's a little flat surface to have our cake stand on. I have been to our hardware store and gotten myself a terracotta pot, and into that I have placed an eight inch round cake board. To make it look a bit more like a desert setting, I've gone ahead and gotten some plain cookies or biscuits, and I'm gonna be using those crushed up to decorate around the cake. I've also made up some of our sweet buttercream recipe in a bunch of colors. Now, as per usual, I have listed everything in the description box below, the recipes as well as the colors and the amounts. For these, I have written down detailed instructions for every single succulent, what color and what piping tip. So many of you do recreate our designs and we love seeing them all. Remember to hashtag cake style or you can tag us on Facebook and Instagram. The first thing I wanna do with both of these cakes is just cut them straight across, just so that they make a perfect circle when I stack them together. And on one of these, I'm just gonna cut a little flat spot so that we can place our cake plate down. Apply a touch of buttercream and then attach that there. Now we want to flip over the cake and add in a delicious layer of our buttercream. Scrape off the excess. Now I'm going to apply a crumb coat to the entire cake, working on the bottom first. Scrape it back, flip it over, and then work on the top. And a quick tip is that I always save a little bit on top to keep my hands there while I smooth out the sides and use the excess to coat the top. Now this is gonna go back in the fridge for another 15 minutes to set. Okay, now that that's chilled a bit, it's time to place the cake onto our cake board, which is inside our planter. So I'm gonna add a little bit of buttercream to the base, gently pick up my cake and place it down. Now I don't want it to be in the middle because I still wanna be able to place some other cute little succulents around here. Next, we're gonna clean up hands and then pop our cake back onto our turntable. Now I'm gonna take a piping bag, add in a coupler and a 21 star tip, which is a Wilton tip, and just screw that together. And then place in some of our green so that we can turn this little green ball into a little green cactus. Now starting from the bottom, I'm just gonna squeeze and make little dollops. I wanna go all the way around the base to start with. So we're just gonna squeeze and release Stop your pressure and pull away from the cake all at the same time. Just keep building it up layer by layer. Now you want to go ahead and take all of your little pieces of fondant and just place them in. Starting at the bottom, So before I start working on my flowers, I wanna go ahead and crush up some cookies or biscuits in a Ziploc bag, just using a rolling pin to crush them up. Now you're gonna sprinkle them onto the cake and spread them out. Now I've gone ahead and placed some egg yellow into a piping bag with the number 68 piping tip. And we're gonna pipe three petals, starting from the center, 
squeezing and pull to release. Squeezing and pull to release. And I'm going to come back on the opposite. Then the same as the start. Now taking some of our little bits of fondant and place them in the center and then pipe little dollops on top with a number two piping tip. Now taking a flower nail and some parchment paper, I'm going to take a really nice shade of pinky maroon color with a 102 piping tip and I'm just going to pipe a very small rose. Little wriggle in the center, wrap around and then little up and down movements. You can see this in much more detail in our other tutorials and I've got a link in the description box below. Just two little goes around and that's it. Now I have a piping bag with a 104 tip. I'm going to take that same maroon shade and I'm going to just stripe it up the side that has the smallest part of the tip. Then I'm going to take a real mustard shade and fill the rest of the bag. Now I'm going to squeeze and go around very much like a blossom. Come up, pulling it back a little ways. Do another row. Turn again and go up and down. Pop this and the rose into the fridge for about 10 to 15 minutes to set. So starting off to the side with our dark green, I'm going to remove a little bit of our soil and pipe a great big dollop. Now taking a 21 tip in a slightly paler green, I'm going to make a space again and just do lots and lots of dollops together and then again on this side. Taking our white with our number two tip, I'm just going to do little dollops on all of these. Now I'm going to take my rose, peel it off the paper and place it on top of here. Make a little dollop here for this and then place it down. And there you go guys, we have our cactus cake complete with little mini succulents around it. I have so much fun making piping tutorials and ever since I did the succulent cake, so many of you have been asking to see more of that style, so I really hope that you get a kick out of watching this one. If you'd like to see our succulent cake, be sure to check it out right here. If you'd like to see more of our newest videos, be sure to click on this playlist here. Remember to subscribe to our channel, give us a thumbs up, and we'll see you next Friday.